Another Massachusetts school is tossing aside hybrid learning and going fully remote. Daniel Webster School in Marshfield has made that decision after a half dozen COVID cases in the last five days. WBZ's Tiffany Chan has that story tonight. The Marshfield Public School Superintendent making the tough call to switch to full remote learning after six people at the Daniel Webster Elementary School tested positive for the coronavirus. Parents were notified Saturday by email that read in part, Unfortunately, we have to pause hybrid learning at the Daniel Webster School for a minimum of two weeks and shift all students and staff at that school to full remote learning. This after six people at the elementary school in Marshfield tested positive for the coronavirus within the past five days. It's the right decision for this school in the moment. Marshfield State Representative Patrick Kearney agrees with the move to keep kids at home for at least two weeks, explaining how a sports game led to the COVID cluster. This this incident uh, due to contact tracing uh, was not actually linked to it being spread at school. It was being linked to a youth sports event that happened outside of the school district. There are some teachers that tested positive. There are a couple others that were exposed. Marshfield Public School Superintendent Jeffrey Granatino told parents if all goes well, students can return to the classroom part time on the 26th. In the meantime, Rep Kearney says he's hoping for guidance from the state so that these sudden closures happen less frequently. You have sports teams playing each other, you're going to see a spread. So if we're taking these drastic measures in schools, we should be taking the same measures. Uh, when it comes to youth sports, uh, we need consistency. Superintendent Granatino ended that email saying he understands socialization, especially with these young students, is important, but the health and safety of the people of the school, he says, even more critical. From Marshfield, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.